Watch and burn. Hey everyone, so tonight I want to discuss um, the Assorted Jelly Beans, a self-titled debut record. It came out back on Kung Fu Records back in, Jesus, 1995 or 1996 if memory serves. And if I'm not mistaken, this was the first release from Kung Fu Records. And this record would go on to sell rather well for them. And I think clocking in at, you know, 40 or 50,000 units shifted, which is a hell of a lot for like a incredibly fun and yet sort of fast and nutty ska punk band from the mid 90s. This record is, there are so many songs on here that are so much fun. Like Brain Dead's on here, Punk Rock Jock is on here, the band's name, the title track of the band, Assorted Jelly Beans is on here. That song is rad. Uh, Eighth Grade Nerd isn't bad. And those songs were always like my absolute favorites. I first discovered this band through uh, a radio show called Mods and Rockers. It was on uh, the University of Toronto Community Radio, which was, I think, 89.5. I think it still is. And back then they had this punk show called uh, Mods and Rockers that was on Monday nights from 10 till midnight. And they also had, too, coincidentally, a, a female-focused punk rock show Friday nights called Radio Bondage from midnight till 1 a.m. That has absolutely nothing to do with this, um, but I did find this band through Mods and Rockers. And the first song I heard was Brain Dead, and that's like still like one of the best ska punk songs I've ever heard. Even though I will argue that at this point, 27 or something years later, I can't really listen to it anymore. But uh, Punk Rock Jock, like I said, is a blast. Assorted Jelly Beans is like potentially my new favorite song off that record, because Brain Dead used to be, but Jesus, uh, I can't hear that song anymore. But I will say that, like, what the hell is that? Like, but the other tracks on here, like, off the top of my head, um, In Our Eyes, they're good, but they work really well when you listen to this record from start to, from start to finish, you know, from front to back. But when you attempt to go in and sort of extract your favorite songs, I always find that I leave everything outside of Brain Dead, Punk Rock Jock, Assorted Jelly Beans, and like Eighth Grade Nerd. The rest of the record tends to get forgotten all these years later. So, whereas it plays out really well from start to finish as one complete package, as far as going in and sort of picking my favorites, I did that decades ago. When I was finally able to track this record down, wherever I did, I was incredibly happy to get it. But now looking back, I gotta say, there's only this handful of songs that I keep going back to, and I love the attitude of the record, and I love how honest it is, and I love how free it is, because everybody in the band was legitimately in high school when they made it, and I love the energy behind the record, and I love how the record is produced, and I love the artwork, but all these years later, I, I just don't love the other songs on the record the way that I think that I had always assumed that I would. I figured in time, I, this record would grow with me like so many other records have. But no, I think this is a cool record and I think this band is awesome. If I'm not mistaken, they only released two albums. And this record is so much fun and it, their, heart, their hearts are in the right place, their, their heads are in the right place. And they're, they're fast, they're fun, they're thrashy, they're ska as fuck. And they even jump into White Zombie for a split second. I think on uh, Assorted Jelly Beans, the, the track that they share their name with. I'm pretty sure that opens with like a split second shot of them playing uh, more human than human? Oh Christ, I can't remember now. Well, anyways, it opens up with a touch of White Zombie, which is very cool. White Zombie, there's another band who I, I really like, but I always felt that their songs were just too long. But yeah, this record's a lot of fun, but I do have to say that unfortunately, all these years later, the other tracks on here they just don't, they just don't do it for me. So I think I'll leave it there. So thank you so much for hanging out with me while I discussed Assorted Jelly Beans debut album from 1996. Like always, if you like this review, don't forget to do something nice for somebody. But most importantly, please don't forget that the world is a better place because you are in it. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good night. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.